What's up, guys? How's it going? Once again, we're here uh, in Hexland. Uh, hopefully everybody's doing great. Hopefully everybody's doing great. Let's go ahead and hit the subscribes and the likes. Of course, if you want to get your daily news uh, real quick, you know, I don't see anybody else doing daily news. And uh, uh, it seems like it's actually needed because who's going to watch a two hour uh, episode about the same thing you've been talking about for the last three years. Let's go ahead and check out what's going on today. Uh, Bitcoin today actually uh, down 0.2%. And uh, let's see, Ethereum, uh, there we go. Ethereum's down uh, three quarters, about 0.71% today at $2,035. Uh, Bitcoin's at 37,784. There you go. Hopefully, uh, I think this is called an ascending, ascending something. I, uh, ascending wedge is what I believe. I don't know. I don't know if this is bullish or not. So don't, don't, uh, Somebody's going to be like in the comments. Oh, actually, actually, the ascending wedge is a, a bullish pattern. It's actually a bearish pattern. And if you would have studied your knowledge uh, for more than five weeks, you would know that, um, sir. You've been here for three years and you don't know what a bullish engulfing candle wedge is uh, with a doji uh, finder uh, for Dora the Explorer. Well, I'm guessing that uh, you need to go back to... Uh, uh, I th I, I'm guessing you need to go back to the Tone Vase uh, School of Hard Knocks and get a stake with him. You would know that. You would know that, okay? Uh, so, yeah, I'm sorry if you don't, uh, <laughs> if, we're not, if we're not at that uh, level yet. But there you go. There's your uh, the, your your wedge. Uh, there you go. Uh, Ron DeSantis' favorite type of shoe, a wedge. Uh, let's go ahead and check out what ha what's happening with Hex today. Let's go and Pulse Chain. Uh, Pulse Chain down about 4% today with four zeros and 5.72. Uh, let's see. Uh, Pulse X, four zeros and 1.6, down 5.5%. Incentive token at 66 cents, uh, down five and three quarters today. And uh, e or excuse me, P Hex is at uh, one or uh, 1.05 pennies. 1.05 pennies. It looks like uh, E hex. Where's the show E hex? Oh, here it is. Point. Uh, let's see. Point uh, zero zero six one right now. So there's your guys's price points uh, for Pulse Chain and Hex and Pulse X. All right now, three hundred twenty dollars for one T share one on uh, Pulse Chain. One hundred eighty five dollars for a T share on Ethereum. And uh, there's your beautiful chart, if you can call it that. Uh, there's the daily. Uh, there you guys go. There you guys go. Uh, new website came out, Hex Scout. So it's hexscout.com. Uh, looks actually really be beautiful. So uh, go check it out, guys. Hexscout.com. I think you can use. Uh, so let's go and see. It says search for any address. Let's go check out one of these addresses. Uh, let's see. Copy this address. Let's paste it right here. All right. Search. Let's see what you can do with this thing. Uh, there you go. You can see how much pulse they have. Liquid E hex, uh, P hex stakes, and uh, E hex stakes. Uh, maybe they just don't have any E hex <clears throat> liquid, or excuse me, P hex liquid. I'm guessing that you can see how much hex they have. Click here. Liquid E hex, staked E hex, liquid P hex. There you go. And staked P hex. So that's actually, dude, this is actually really cool. This might be my new go to. Uh, shows you how much actually in dollars they have. Uh, you can stake it. It looks like from here they have 96 T shares. <clears throat> Next stake ending. Dang, dude, this is actually pretty awesome. Uh, I saw somebody, I saw somebody doing a tutorial on it, and it was like an hour and 20 minutes long. And I was like, uh, no, <laughs> I'll just look at it myself. And maybe there's some hidden gems in here. But boy, uh, you can look at the history. It looks like hex balance. Uh, man, and this is just for this guy's wallet. So that's actually, this is actually really cool. So whoever put out Hex Scout, awesome job. Uh, yield the T-share shows you that they're a little turtle. Uh, there you guys go. I think, oh, this is so, so this shows their active stakes. Awesome, awesome. Uh, maybe it's in portfolio. Okay, so you can put your portfolio in here. Let's let's do the same address. I have no idea whose address this is, so don't go, XO, oh, I see that you did this. I don't, it's not my wall. I just went over to here to uh, Dex Greener, got the first one, and uh, there you go. So, all right, uh, looks like the same thing. So, okay, so now this is in my portfolio, I'm guessing. Uh, all right, there you guys go. That's awesome. Hexscout.com, guys. Go check it out. Go check out Hexscout.com. This is the cool stuff that's being built in the bear market, guys. Because everybody in the bull market gets so excited about the uh, the the that it it pumping that we don't do anything. We just are like, oh, 
up, you know, all day. Uh, oh my gosh, we're up another 20%. Ah, oh, right now is the best time to build because you're not, nobody's doing that, right? Uh, all right, next news, we got the uh, Richard Hart. So I, I, I thought it was funny. The last three days, there's been so much FUD, not even FUD, but it's like, Everybody's talking about Richard Hart, right? If you just Google his name, uh, press news, you can see uh, two days ago, there was this one. One day ago, two days ago, two days ago, one day ago, two days ago, one day ago, one day ago, two days ago, January 31st. Uh, so you just see a whole bunch, August 2nd. Uh, it's, you know, people would say, oh, look, we're getting such bad news. Guys, when we used to get this bad news, back in the day, it sucked as well. Uh, but uh, guess where it went to we got to 56 cents because so many people knew about it All right, next news Richard Hart another well, this is pretty much the same thing Peter Schiff You know the guy that uh, got in trouble for uh, I can't remember what he actually did uh, with his bank over in Puerto Rico but uh, he was talking about how you shouldn't uh, call somebody a crook or a, a, You know a bad person until you know, we have in the uh, America We have something called innocent until proven guilty, right? He doesn't leave, and Peter Schiff uh, recognized that when he was in trouble But now when Peter Schiff smells blood, he's gonna go after it and take him so uh, I just think it's pretty funny I mean, he's got a million view or mu million followers. So hey you know that it's it's great we're getting the word out there once again all right you guys know him charlie munger he died yesterday at the age of 99 he was a crypto hater a bitcoin critic as decrypt likes to say but he was really just a crypto hater uh he died last week or excuse me ye yesterday and uh at the age of 99 all right bitmex founder arthur hayes says treatment of cz from binance is absurd mr arthur hayes who also hayes stepped down as ceo of bitmex in 2020 after the cftc charged the exchange with money laundering and operating illegally in the u.s and the u.s attorney for the district of new york charged hayes for violating the bank secrecy act hayes pled guilty for violating the bankers secrecy act paying 10 million dollar fine hayes was also sentenced to six months of house arrest and two years probation Sounds like he got off pretty easy, Mr. Mr. Arthur Hayes, to be honest with you. But it says he faces up to 10 years in prison and must pay a $50 million fine. Yesterday, a judge ruled that uh, CZ must remain in the U.S. pending his sentencing in February of 2024. So CZ asked that he could uh, leave the USA so he could do business or not business, but, you know, clear up things on the outside world uh, before his sentencing in February. And they pretty much said no. So uh, there you guys go. All right, guys, highest of stakes. Uh, has been doing really well. Let's see. Go over to the highest of stakes movie. Look at this, guys. On the genres, I'm pretty sure what this documentary. Okay, the top number one documentary on Apple, right? Uh, so that's pretty awesome, guys. We did great. Uh, there's actually something else you guys can do. Uh, you can actually go and view it on YouTube. So you can click, uh, go just look up the highest of stakes on YouTube. It'll bring you up to the highest of stakes right here. Uh, you don't have to subscribe or anything, but do hit the likes, guys. Hit the likes. Uh, leave a comment so you guys are able to, uh, you know, maybe you'll get a, in some type of algorithm. Uh, and honestly, I'm not going to buy a movie on YouTube because YouTube's so finicky. I would buy it um, from one of these other places, probably uh, Amazon uh, or even this Vudu. Uh, so that's what that's where so it says some u.s markets some u.s markets i'm not entirely sure i know that there's other ways uh that you can get it and i know other uh regions aren't able to get it but uh yeah sorry if you're not able to get it i put a vpn out there uh the other day thinking that that would help but uh some people were saying that it didn't so sorry about that if you guys did click that uh yeah i think you can cancel within 30 days anyway so uh, hey, even haters now, guys. Haters that were hating on us all over the last bull market, they're starting to come through. Mason versus Salad versus Luis. Uh, as you guys know him, he's a, he was a huge hater on TikTok and on YouTube. Uh, is Hex still a buy long term? He he posted this. Is Hex still a buy long term hold for some of you guys? Even when Richard Hart has been sued, uh, I saw the Heist of Stakes documentary come out and gonna watch it. Uh, back in 2021, I was asked to provide comments, opinions on the Hex for the docu documentary, but I declined. My arc with Hex and Pulse has been crazy. Uh, went from being a hater, calling it a scam, to now seeing how Richard is low-key or high-key a genius. All it took was putting my emotions aside and watching some hours of Richard Hart live stream slash interviews. Uh, so it's actually pretty cool that uh, people that are haters, that are adamant haters, are actually, you know, realizing 
oh geez maybe i shouldn't just take him at surface level right and that's pretty much it, it's it's what everybody has to go through we all you know i think that we've all had to go through that like what richard you know and then you realize how smart he is and then you're like oh dude this guy's brilliant it's same with hex and same with pulse chain and pulse x all of those you look at it first it with hex it, for me it was like okay you stake it and you buy it or you buy it you stake it and then you just it's it it's there then I learned about T shares. I learned about I learned about how Uniswaps work. All those things, and it was like, holy smokes, dude! This thing is freaking awesome. This thing's actually brilliant, brilliantly made. Uh, the T shares, the emergency and stake penalties, all of that. Uh, so uh, I think that once you get past, like he said, once you get past your <clears throat> his emotions, uh, that it actually looks like pretty awesome stuff. Uh, <clears throat> as you guys know, Cameron Winklevoss actually tweeted this in Jan or June, excuse me, but being sued by the SEC used to be mean you probably did something wrong. Now it means you're probably doing something right, which I think is quite a, kind of funny. All right, a little bit of last news. Cristiano, Cristiano Ronaldo sued by for promoting Binance. I don't know how he promoted it, but geez, man, a lot of these guys are getting sued by uh, places that they... Uh, they sponsored and got or they got sponsored by and they promoted so yikes okay a couple of tweets by richard and then we'll close out the day 1458 days of perfect flawless operation pulse chain 201 days of perfect flawless operation uh 27 million dollars raised for charity world's largest free airdrop world's first proof of weight cryptocurrency 5000 x cheaper more decentralized more secure better for the environment a movie just released too many features to list so these are some of uh this is richard's tweet you know pretty much saying how cool pulse chain pulse x hex incentive token are last but not least let's take a look at this uh richard tweet uh richard hart is the grand champion scammers sell you big story and then they don't do what they said they were going to do richard hart is the anti-scammer the receipts prove it now ask yourself who benefits from slandering, slandering honest men? Why do people lie about Richard when the truth is public and obvious? Be the change you wish to see in the world. You are the network. You are the future. Also, is this perhaps the best example in history of clear and truthful disclaimer? I can't think of a better one. So let's go ahead and watch this uh, disclaimer that Richard Hart has uh, pretty much said all the time. Let's go ahead and watch it. Let me give you guys a little reminder here. I don't work for you. Hi. I don't work for you. I don't do anything for you. I don't owe you anything, nothing. Neither does anyone that I know. In anything that I'm involved with, you must have no expectation of profit from the work of others. This is not a security. You're not buying my time. You're not, none of it, nothing, none of that. If you want Hex to be better, go make it better. If you want Pulse to be better, go make it better. If you want the code to be better, go make it better. It's on GitHub, GitLab, gitlab.com forward slash pulse chain com. You ain't going to get no expectations of profit from the work of others from me. Never, never, ever, 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 ever. Now, by the way, how's that worked out? Seems to have worked out just fine. So no, no singing stories and like, you know, I tell you what, if you want to make a lot of money in the world, telling big stories is, is something that I see all the time. People tell you a big story, they get your money, and they never do anything they said they were gonna do. It's called scam. I don't like this. So, no expectations here. All right, guys, that wraps it up for the day. That's the news. Hopefully you guys are liked, liking the thing, commenting down below, subscribe, and uh, you know share this out with your grandma if you can. You know, Send it to Grammy. Uh, that'd be great. I'll see you guys here tomorrow and uh, Saturday we are doing our live stream. So hopefully you're subscribed to that. I will see you guys then. See you guys.